<clears throat> Hi, Eric. Good evening. How are you? I can't listen to you. Hi, good evening, Pablo. Good evening. Hi, How teacher. I'm fine. How's I'm working day? right now. But, oh, okay. uh, well, uh -huh. actually, yesterday I couldn't connect because I had a, a really long call. But right now I'm free. Okay. For the moment, right? Super. No worries. No worries. I totally understand. Okay. Eric, good evening. Ernesto, good evening. How are you guys? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Eric, good, good evening. evening. How are you? How are good you? Good evening. Perfectly okay. Super. Uh, really hot, but yeah, nice. Okay. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you for joining in on time, as always. Um, I wanted to ask you if you guys have any doubts about the platform, exercises. I saw a couple of, of um, questions uh, throughout WhatsApp which made it really interesting. I, I never participate in WhatsApp because I just want to see how good you guys are like integrating and helping each other. So I've noticed that, for example, Sadie was helping out with some exercises. Um, whenever you guys have questions, I've noticed that, you know, you help each other. So that's why I've never pitched in. Um, but tell me, do you guys have any questions? How are you doing with the platform? Ernesto, Pablo, eh, Pablo, I know you finished, right? You're done, right? I think. Eric, are you done with the platform? Ernesto, how yeah, are you doing with the platform? Done. Super, I'm super. What about you, Ernesto? Uh, yeah, I finished the, the platform, teacher. Okay, super. Okay, great. I'm happy. I'm happy to hear. I think Pablo also finished the platform too. Maybe he's on the call right now. So guys, today we're having a little exercise. So what we're doing is um, I'm going to... Um, we are going to go through a tool that I want you to use a lot for grammar, okay? It's, it's an English page, and this is an exam related to modals, okay? So I want you to participate doing this quick exam. Let's do it together. We're gonna do it together, but I want you to participate and give me your input on what do you think it's the correct answer. Just give me one minute here. There you go. Are you guys able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. As you know, I don't know if you guys know what is the common European framework. Do you guys know what the CE, do you know what is A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2 in regards to English? Do Those you know are that? like ratings. Uh-huh. Then the, the European, uh, um, as you made your test, it's like the TOEFL or like the TOEIC. Mm -hmm. It's to see where you guys are standing. Oh, hold on. It's called the Common European Framework Chart. I'm gonna show you a chart, that way you have an idea where you guys are standing. There's one with the scores. Um, I think it's, okay. So, um, but let me look for it. Oh, this one's the one that I like. Okay, so this is a friendly version of it, okay. So, as you see here, so, it, a1, it's going to be low basic. A2 is going to be high basic. B1 is low intermediate. B2, it's high intermediate. C1, it's upper or high advanced. And C2, it's super, you know, master, like nine and 10, right? So, but here are, this is like what the majority of academies, call centers, you know, the industry, they manage this. It's called the Common European Framework. or it's initials with our CER, CEFR, I'm sorry, I wrote it all the way around. Um, so as you can see here, this is a ponderation for each one according to IELTS. If you are in a basic, because there's no zero in English for this, there's no zero, no one, no two, not even three. It, we start from four. So a basic would be considered three or four. So it's here, it's an A2. Then if you are a low intermediate, your English level should be between 4.5 and 
and five-ish, a little bit higher than 5.3, perhaps. Now, if you are a high intermediate, you should go around 5.5 or six, between 5.5 and 6.5, which is good. Now, for C1s, which are already advanced, the, rate, the range is going to go between seven and eight, okay, for C1, that's high advanced. And the highest is nine. There's no perfect 10, I think. I wouldn't say there, we're not perfect, right? Just God is perfect. So there's always, you know, that's why we don't have zero and we don't have 10. So there has to be a margin in between. So according to this framework and, you know, speaking to your heart and your conscious, where do you guys think you are right now? Are you guys an A2, a B1, a B2? Because then again, we, we need to be clear that we, we might be very good at speaking, but perhaps we're better at writing, but not really good with grammar, just to give, so it all depends. It can go into categories, but let's divide it into speaking and writing, including grammar. So how are you at speaking? How are you at speaking and how are you at grammar? Between this ranges. What do you guys think? Where are you standing? Where I consider, uh... To be honest with myself, <laughs> I guess maybe in maybe in B two. Okay, speaking or or both. Both. And for both, you consider yourself a B two. Okay. B two. Okay, Pablo Ernesto, what do you guys consider? Where you guys consider your standing? Um, I actually, uh, go ahead, Pablo. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, I don't know. I think I am in. B2, maybe in writing okay. or listening, but um, if I'm going to talk about fluency, fluency, I think B1. I don't okay. Know. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Ernesto, what about you? And um, actually, I did that, that test like three years ago when I was, when I was applying to TACA or Avianca. Huh? I, I they made me that test and uh, the in the internet we we did the test and I got B two for writing for listening and for reading, okay. but for speaking I got B one. Okay, okay, very good, thank you. Iris, what about you? Where do you think you're standing? Well, uh, I. I already joined and you were talking about this, so I, <laughs> I we're don't talking about, know. We were talking about the levels, like there's like, yes. this is what a, the majority of industries and academies know. A1 is basic, mm -hmm. low basic, high basic for A1 and A2. B1 is low intermediate, B2 is high intermediate, C1 is um, low advanced, let's say, or and C2 is, you know, the top I, chef. Yeah, yes. I think. Um, and this I'm, range is between. We don't have zero and we don't have ten, so okay. we start at four, going from the regular grades that we know from four to nine. Where do you mm -hmm. think you're standing in regards to speaking, and where do you think you're standing in regards to writing? Okay, uh, speaking, I think B one. Okay. And um, writing and listening, B two. Okay, super. Okay. Well, we're going to find out. reason why I'm asking you this is because this is what we're going to be using for this page. The page is called examenglish.com. By the way, this is something that they use in, for Avianca for evaluating English level for grammar for all the different levels. We're going to be doing modals just to try it out. This is a B1 modals exam. So this is what we're going to be doing. You're not going to be talking. I want everybody to be muted. And if you have a notepad, or if you have a, um, if you have a notepad or on your computer, I'm sorry, a notepad or a pencil or a pen and a notebook, then just write down your answers. We're gonna write the answers for ten questions that I have. So you're just gonna write the answers. You're not gonna tell me the answers. So you're gonna be, I am going to do it here. It's okay if I miss mistakes. Okay, I'm gonna do it here, <clears throat> and then. First, you're going to write the answer. When I click on the answer, you're going to check yourself if it's correct or X yourself. 
So at the end, you're going to tell me from 1 to 10, what was your grade? But you're not going to tell me the answer right now. You're going to tell me the answer at the end of the exercise. So I'm going to develop the exercise on my own here, but I want you on your side to write the answer or to type the answer on your computer, okay? And if you have it correct, a check. If you have it wrong, then an X, okay? Yeah? Did you guys have any questions so far? No? No. no okay, okay, super. No. Supposed to be this now again. This is a low intermediate based on, as you can see, it's a B1. So based on this chart, it's a low intermediate exam Let's for modals. Let's find out what our score is at the end. Let's see if we're B1 or if we are at another level, okay? So this is like our median point. Okay, so everybody, I'm gonna mute you all, okay? And I'm okay. not going to allow you to speak. Just, just for the exercise. Ready, set, go. Let's do the first one. Which sentence is not a correct sentence? Write your answer, please. Write your answer. Erin can have missed the train. Erin must have missed the train. Or Erin may have missed the train. Which one is not a correct sentence from the three that we have here? Write your answer, please. If you have your answers, please, with your little hand, raise your hand. You have a little hand there to raise your hand if you have it ready, if you have your answers ready so I can see your screens. Okay, thank you, Iris. Iris is ready. Show me your hand, everybody. Make a little symbol there. Okay, thank you. Sarai, you're ready. I'm missing Rosie Bell. And the rest. Eric, thank you. Okay. okay. Let me go to the next one. Sorry, I have too many controls here. Okay, so that's my answer. Erin can have missed the train is correct. Because this one and this one are already correct. So the wrong sentence here is Erin can have missed the train, okay? I hope you have it correct. Let's go to the next one. Please write your answer. Only your answer, okay? For number two, which sentence is not grammatically correct? He can have he can't have got lost. Joseph must have forget about the party. Or I may have left the form at home. Please write your answers. And raise your hand when you are ready with your answer, okay? Or give me a like or raise your hand. And every guys are ready. Thank you, Sarai. Ready? Thank you, Pablo. Thank you, Eric.
What about Wilbur, Rosie, and Edie's? And Pablo. Okay. Okay, so let's see the first one. It's incorrect. He can have got lost. Joseph must have forgotten about the party would have been the correct form. Okay, so if you have this one, give yourself a check. If you have the rest, give yourself an X because this one's not correct and the incorrect one in this one is this one. Joseph must have forgotten about the party. Not forgot, forget, forgotten. The past participle will always go. He can have got lost. I may have left the form at home. Now, this is very British. That's the reason why you might have doubted between the first one and the second one, okay? So it's very British. It's correct, but super British. You're not going to listen to it in an American conversation. You're going to listen to it to Mr. Bean or, or, by the way, rest in peace. He passed away recently. Um, but you will, you will listen to this in British language, okay, or British um, series or movies, but not really American series or movies. Let's go to our next one. Please write your answer. Number three, which sentence cannot be used in reply to the sentence below? Oh no, I can't find my camera. I must have left it in the hotel. Yes, you can have left it in the cupboard by the bed. You can't have done, we searched the room before we left, or you might have left it in the car. Have you looked there? Please write your answer. And raise your hand when you're finished. Or give me a symbol, like good. Thank you, ladies. Eric? Pablo? Ernesto? Thank you, Sarai. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you, Ernesto. Eric, ready? Super. Okay. Let's go through the answers. If you pick the first one, let me tell you that that was the correct one. Yes, you can have left it in the cupboard by the bed. The second one, you can have done, we searched the room before we left. And the third one, you might have left it in the car. Have you looked there? So both of them are two possible ways to actually answer this. So the question was, which sentence cannot be used to reply? Yes, you can have left it in the cupboard. You can't or you must have left it. Hmm. I think it's you must have left it in the cupboard. That would be the right model to use. You must have left it in the cupboard by the bed. Okay, you can doesn't apply there. Okay, very good. Let's go with the next one. Number four, which word can go? Here it's a can go in the space. We may not have bought enough biscuits for everybody, everyone, or we should not have bought enough biscuits for everyone, or we must not have bought enough biscuits for everyone. Which word could fit this space in this sentence? Please write your answer and raise your hand when you're done or give me a like. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Sally. Thank 
Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Ernesto. Okay, let's go through the answers. May, it's the correct one. We may not have bought enough biscuits for everyone. We should know, wouldn't fit, and we must know. We may not have bought because you're like doubting. Hmm, I see a lot of people. Maybe we may not have enough biscuits for everybody. Okay, may or might could fit there, but not should or must, okay? No relationship there. Thank you. Let's go to the next one. Number five. There are, I'm sorry, which sentence means maybe John went to the shop. John might not have gone to the shop. John must have gone to the shop or John may have gone to the shop. Please answer the correct one. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you, Sarai. Thank you, Ernesto. Thank you, Eric. Okay, so let's go through, let's go through the answer. Let's find out the first one. It's incorrect. John might have not gone to the shop. Second one, John must have gone to the shop. It's incorrect as well. The third one, it's our correct option. John may have gone to the shop. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's go to our next sentence. Please write the answer for number six. It is not possible that Joe went home with us. Joe, home with me. What would be the correct answer here? Using cat. Please write your answer. John can't home with me? Hmm, it's not conjugated. Let's conjugate it to make it a, a past modal. And when you're ready, please raise your hand. Thank you, Sarai. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you, Ernesto. John can't have gone home with me. It's a correct answer. If you have it correct, please give yourself a check. If not, correct yourself, right? It is not possible that John, Joe went home without me. So John can't have gone home without me, okay? So that is a correct form of the past modal for can't. Joe can't have gone. Go to the next one, number seven. We're using must for this one. 
I'm pretty sure the burglar, by the way, burglar is like a thief or a robber, got in through the kitchen window. So what would be the correct way of using must in this context? The burglar space through the kitchen window. Please raise your hand or give me a, a like when you finish the exercise. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Ernesto. Thank you, Sarai. Thank you, Claudia. Okay, so the burglar must have got in through the kitchen window. If you have it correct, click mark yourself a check or if not, mark yourself an X and correct yourself that way you have. Must have got in through the kitchen. Because we have got here. Must have got in through the kitchen window. Let's go next. Number eight. Maybe, we're going to use May for this one. Maybe Philippa or Philippa left work already. Philippa blank work already. Please write your correct answer and raise your hand when you're done. Or give me a like. Thank you, Ernesto. Thank you, Iris. Okay, let's check on the answer. Thank you, Sarai. Philippa may have left, may plus have plus the part particle left, may have left work already. So please mark your check or your X if it's incorrect and correct yourself. Number nine. With might, maybe Darren didn't finish work on time. Darren, space, work on time. Please write your answer and let me know when you're done with a like or a, raise your hand. Thank you, Sarai. Thank you, Iris. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Ernesto. Let's check our answers. Darren might not have finished, mm, might not have finished work on time. If you have it correct, please check yourself. If not, correct yourself. Let's 
go to our next one and last one for B1. This is B1, by the way. Last one with couldn't. The rabbit has escaped, but don't worry. I'm sure he didn't go far. So the rabbit has escaped, but don't worry. He sprays far. Didn't info. <laughs> Thank you, Sarai. Thank you, Edie. Thank you, Pablo. Okay, let's check the answer for this one. But he couldn't have gone far. You have it correct? Check. And then add it up from one to 10. What's your score? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to make your math. And I'm going to unmute everybody. Now you can speak, all of you. What was the exercise, guys? Tell me. Tricky, difficult, easy. How was the exercise for you? Difficult. Difficult. And this one is B1. Low intermediate. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and it was difficult. Now, this is a page that I'm going to share with you through WhatsApp. That way you can practice yourself, okay? Uh, practice uh, also with this topic. Now, I want us to do another exercise for you to have an idea where you're sitting. <laughs> We need to do What was your score, guys? Can you give me your score? Can you tell me your score? I'm sending you the link through WhatsApp, that way you have it. Okay, and you can practice more exercise. What was your score from one to 10? Can you tell me what was your score? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. What was your score? Mm -hmm. Hello? Oops. Are you there? What was your score from one to 10 for this exercise? I unmuted everybody. I think you can all talk, speak. Okay, uh, okay. But I can, I can unmute, hold on. Let me unmute everybody. You're supposed to be able to speak. I got nine. Very good, nine. Okay. okay. It's okay if you are between. It's okay. It's, it was just an exercise, but it's for you to realize, you know, not the uh, expectation versus reality. No, it's just for you to realize where we're standing, and that we need to practice. I know we have the platform, and it's really good. But then again, more side exercises for you to be in constant learning okay there's a lot of free websites where you can practice this is one of them okay this website it's very good website it's called english exams and you have you know you have level tests you have grammar and vocabulary tests okay 
Right now, we are going to do this to test your level of English. But this is something you're going to do individually. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. I'm going to send the link here. Um, I'm going to do it. Hold on. I'm going to send it here. Uh, please open it up on your cell phone. And I want you to do it. It's just 15 questions. You should be. You should take less than 10 minutes to do it. Okay, because you, so over past the 10 minutes, then the score doesn't apply, okay? And at the end, it will give you a level. So I want you to tell me what level it gave you. This is just for grammar. So when once you open it, start working on it, okay? <clears throat> and let me know, you should be doing this. This is a link I sent you. This is for English grammar and vocabulary. So it says here, there are 15 questions in this test. The questions get easier or harder according to your responses. At the end of the test, your English level will be assessed. You will not be able to see the correct answers. Just so you have to go next, next, next. And at the end, it's going to tell you if you're A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, or C2. So when you're finished, please tell me what's your level, okay? Okay, your 10 minutes stop right now. So work on it. Ten minutes are running, so work on your
Okay, I know that some of you already finished the placement test, but I'm gonna send you the last one, which is the listening test. Same 10, 15 questions. I'm sending you the link through WhatsApp and also through here. Good luck. Send me your screenshots. So you can contrast whether you are B1, B2, C1, C2 for both listening and grammar. Good luck, guys. Let me know when you're done. Please raise your hand when you're done the listening too, okay? How are you guys doing so far? I'm Have just you finished? Mm -hmm. No. You're studying the second one? Yes. Okay. What was the score for the first one? Uh, 7.1, I guess. What's the letter? Did it give you like letters? C1, C2, B1, B2? For the first one, mm -hmm. I got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven from, from 10. Oh, seven were good and I got. 
for the that I marked wrong. Okay, but for the practice, it, did it give you a result at the end, like letters? Uh, no, because I did it manually. Ah, okay, okay, okay. You're, um, I have a question. You're talking about the, the first thing that we do. I mean, the level test. The grammar okay, level. Okay, but in the in the level test that you put on on the screen, I got five of ten. In the second in the second one that I, that I did in in my cell phone, I got C two. And the Perfect. third one, uh, I am doing it right now. Okay, okay. Let me know your third answer. Okay, once you're done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? <clears throat> Um, I'm I'm doing right now the the listening. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. What was your score? It is for the previous one. The first one six. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the second one C two. Super super. That's very good. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Can you send me the the links again? Sorry, I got I disconnect and I ah, I lost sure. the image. Sure. Let me send you the listening and let me send you the the grammar one. The first one is the listening and the second one that I'm sending right now is the grammar one. Mm -hmm. uh, I I already finished the the grammar I got ah. B, B2. B2, very good, very good. Okay, that's high intermediate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just missing the listening one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to begin. Okay, super.
I know that we're not gonna have enough time to finish the listening one, but you can do it on your own. And then later on, you can send me the results. Then again, this is more like for you guys to see where you guys are standing, okay? I'm super proud of you. Um, I, am, I am really proud of you. We are finishing our sessions. As you know, this today is our last day for Intermediate 3. So I sent you a little something on the group that it's actually, yeah, here. It's actually here. Maybe you're not able to see it, but I took a picture and I'm sending it to you, okay? I will miss you so much the time that we're not going to be together, but eventually, hopefully, like in one week or so, we're going to be there. Uh, practice the websites that I have given you, finish your platform, and I'll see you soon, okay? Thank you so much for being so responsible. Thank you so much for you. being awesome students. I'm super proud of you. I hope that you learn a little bit of this session. I'm trying to make the sessions very interactive for you to actually enjoy and practice as much as you can. Okay, guys? Thank you very much. I'll Thank see you. Soon. Thank you for everything. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.